My name is Olivia Byrne and I'm on the crew here at the Galway Lifeboat for the last 16 years. So when the pager goes off, uh, the first four people uh, that come to the station go on the call out. So this is not a manned station. We all come from our own jobs and uh, we arrive at the station, put on all the gear, roll the boat out because it's in a boathouse, uh, launch it into the sea and then we take off. We train every week here, every Thursday night we come down and we do various things from, we include first aid, navigation, tying knots, the rules of the sea as well, so you have to learn them and, you know, keep, keep memorising them because they're very important. I think one of the first ones was, it was a suicide, unfortunately, and a man, he walked in from the beach uh, in, in over Ren Moor side and uh, he had left a note and um, yeah, that was one of my first ones. So that was very traumatic really, even though I am a nurse and I would be used to dealing with a lot of trauma and looking at terrible things, uh, it's totally different when you're actually out on the sea recovering a person because uh, you don't have the nice environment of a hospital or a team, you know, a medical team. So basically I was it, <laughs> you know, with my crew but um, that's when I noticed that, that really that the first aid training needed some attention and we needed to really focus in on how we do things and if we could do them better and um, that, that we did. I went off and became an instructor in order to be able to teach them uh, different skills and, and stuff so um, yeah but that was, a, that was a very hard one um, and the man didn't survive you know, so yeah, it made it twice as hard. But uh, you know, I didn't uh, walk away that day. So you know, we we did the best we could, and that's what we aim to do. We always, you know, we do the best we can. The result isn't always going to be um, the one you want, but we we definitely do our best. But we've had successes, um, you know, in recent times with recovering people literally waiting to do an exercise with someone else. We're hanging around, nothing much happening, and the next thing we have people waving at us to tell us that somebody has jumped into the water. When we went over to them then, uh, I was actually the first person to say, man in the water. <laughs> you know, he had, he had taken out his keys, phone, wallet, and took off his jacket and stepped off just in front of them. And where he was, like, had they not been walking down that centre uh, part of the cladder, um, he may not have been seen at all. So when he went in then, there was a kind of an upturned uh, boat and he was hanging on to the side of that. But he had a grey jumper on and blackish hair and you'd nearly miss him because he, he wasn't shouting for help. He was just I'm holding on really tight. So we then recovered him. Uh, brought him into the boat and even that was only within we'll say five ten minutes he was he was hypothermic so he was you know shivering uncontrollably and uh, obviously he was very upset and it was a suicide attempt where he went in there wasn't the flow of water so and he grabbed onto the first thing he saw so um, he did everything right from his side so we just pulled him in got all the gear on him to, to prevent the hypothermia getting worse. Very lucky for him, you know, and hopefully he'll make a full recovery, but um, it was good to get somebody back and not have to do CPR on them, you know. Yeah, so that, that makes it all worthwhile, really, yeah. Thank you. <laughs>